Welcome back, it's Danny Fish. And it's pie day soon. Get pie paired. Pie puns. Let's see how many I can get throughout this entire show here. I hope you have your calendars marked because March 14th is pie day. 3.14, like mathematical pie. And possibly like they made pie day, like national pie day on 3.14 or March 14th. I should look that up. Let me look that up, one second. Okay, just look that up. And if you can believe it, they didn't put national pie day, like the pie you eat on on pie day. It was January 23rd. Who do, who do we call about that? Pie day was something that you celebrated in like high school, I, I like I had a really cool math teacher. Shout out to Mr. Awas. If like if you didn't, I guess maybe you didn't celebrate Pi Day, but we would bring in everyone would bring in a different type of pie and eat it during our math class, and we would have a contest to see who could say the most numbers of pie. I was not good at that part. Okay, let's let's see how many I can say now. Three point one four one five nine seven. That's not even like a phone number's worth of numbers. <laughs> anyway, in honor of Pi Day, we are going to be making a pistachio ice cream pie. Huh. Oh, the puns are good. We're gonna be making a graham cracker pistachio crust. We're gonna fill our pie crust with pistachio ice cream. It's gonna be amazing. All right, without further ado, let's make a pistachio ice cream pie in honor of Pi Day. Before we get started, we need to talk nuts. Pistachios are hard to find without salt on them, but you need unsalted pistachios to make this recipe. For pretty much any other recipe that involves pistachios, you need the unsalted kind. So if you're fortunate enough to have a Whole Foods by you, they do have pre-toasted unsalted pistachios. That's what I have here. So I don't have to worry about burning them. That's a win. If you don't, you can find Shelled pistachios usually don't have salt on them. Make sure it says unsalted on the package and you're gonna have to break them open. It sucks, but it's worth it. Pistachios are amazing, but they need to be unsalted and unflavored. First thing we need to do now that we've talked about our nuts is we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now we're going to melt some butter. We need about four tablespoons of butter, but instead of putting an entire brick of butter into the microwave to melt, I'm cutting it up into little chunks so it melts easier. In a food processor, we're gonna add two thirds a cup of pistachios. Next, you add a cup of graham cracker crumbs. And we add a fourth of a cup of sugar. Now we process. You're gonna first pulse everything together until you get a nice fine grain, and then we're gonna slowly pour in our melted cooled butter until you get something that looks like wet sand. And this is me struggling to get the bowl off of the food processor. Okay, now you're just gonna pour it into a pie tin, and then you can use a cup or just your hands and kind of push it down. Once you've got most of the edges covered, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 12 minutes. And now for the ice cream. Super easy. We're gonna add 3 fourths of a cup of sugar into our pot. One cup of milk. It's not open. There we go. One cup of milk. One cup of cream. And we're gonna heat it on the stove until it's scalding hot. Once your sugar is melted and everything is scalding hot, I'm gonna add about a cup of toasted pistachios into the hot milk mixture and steep it for about half an hour to an hour.
Next, you need three egg yolks. Look how cute and tiny it is. Like I'm a makeup influencer. I'm using the MAC Tiny Whisk in shade silver. While we reheat that, you're gonna take another bowl, another cup of cream, and then you're gonna put a strainer on top and put it to the side. Now we temper into our egg yolks. Back on the stove. You're gonna cook this on low heat until the liquid starts to thicken up. You'll see that I switched to a wooden spoon because it's much easier to tell when the liquid is thicker if it coats the back of that spoon, which is much harder to see with a rubber spatula. Then we strain. Spoiler alert, it's not green naturally. Green is food coloring in both pistachio ice cream and a mint chocolate chip. Sorry. Then the little secret ingredient to any pistachio ice cream is a little drop, little, little drop of almond extract. Oh, it smells so good. Then we chill, then we churn. I'm using my trusty Cuisinart Ice 70 machine with a bowl insert that we keep in the freezer at least for 24 hours before using. Then it gets set on the ice cream setting and it churns for about 25 minutes. Now that the ice cream is done, we're gonna put it into our pie shell. Fill your pie shell with ice cream all the way to the top and then I just level it off with a spoon, cover with plastic wrap and we're good to go. And then you stick it in the freezer overnight. All right, it's the next day. Oh, it smells so good. We did a little whipped cream on top. Oh my God, that's good. I know the ice cream is supposed to be the star of the show here, but that crust, that pistachio graham cracker crust. Amazing. This is my breakfast, by the way. <laughs> and it holds up nicely. It's not soggy. No soggy bottoms. Hollywood. Wow. Happy pie day. What is better than pie? Ice cream pie. That's what's better. I love my life. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. You're following me along on Instagram so you never miss a post or a picture. And feel free to check out my blog. I'm also on TikTok and Facebook so you can hang out with me there too. Let me know if you make this pie or any pie on pie day. Tag me in your post or tag me in your favorite pie recipes. I want to see your stuff. Okay, till next time.